Alright guys, welcome to the last video of this sentiment analysis series and in this video we are going to be finding out that the text inside the read.txt file has a positive vibe or a negative vibe or we can also say that it has a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment and we are going to be finding that out by using something known as sentiment analysis inside NLTK. So first we need to import something known as the sentiment analyzer from NLTK and how do you do that? It's pretty easy, you just write from nltk.sentiment.vader and we are going to import the sentiment and density analyzer and we are going to scroll down and you can just create a function anywhere i'm just going to create it where we are counting emotions just below that so i'm going to give it a value of um, like the name of sentiment analysis so i'm just going to write sentiment or maybe sentiment analyze and this is going to take like some kind of text so it will take the text that is inside read.text currently and that is stored inside this cleaned underscore text variable. We are not going to give it like specific words that is inside a list. This analyzer requires the whole text and that text is being currently stored inside cleaned underscore text. So, so we are going to be sending this variable to our sentiment analyze function. So I'm just going to call this variable as sentiment text. And when we call the function, we are going to give it the value of cleaned text. But right now we're just going to call it sentiment text. And then we are going to create a new variable known as the score. And this will give us the score whether the vibe is positive or negative or the sentiment is positive or negative. And inside this, we are going to call our sentiment and intensity analyzer function and make sure you add brackets, otherwise it's not going to work. And after that, we want a polarity score. And inside this, we are going to put in the text. So right now, the text is just sentiment underscore text. And I'm just going to print this out right now so that you guys know what's happening in this function of sentiment analyze. And just below this, I'm going to call this function. So let's just call our function of sentiment analyze and we're going to pass the value of clean underscore text so when we call this sentiment analyze function and we pass the clean underscore text function is going to go from here to over here and it's going to get stored inside the sentiment text variable and then the sentiment intensity analyzer is going to do its magic and give us the scores of the positive negative or neutral vibe so let's actually run our main.py file and you'll be able to see it in action. So you can see down below if we have a couple of values. This is the score value that we are getting. So let me just close these uh, graphs, which we don't need right now. So you can see the negative value is 0.091. The positive value is 0.161. And depending on this, we can find out whether the whole vibe of the text is positive or negative. In this case, the positive is greater than the negative. So it has an overall positive vibe. So what we are going to do is now is that we are going to get individually the values of negative and the positive and this is basically neutral so if like both positive and negative it's kind of like they both don't exist then this neutral value is closer to one but for right now we are just going to think about whether the positive is greater than the negative then the whole sentiment of the text is positive and the negative is greater than the positive then the whole vibe of that text is negative so we are going to just do an if else if if like basic if conditions to find out whether the vibe is positive or negative. So let's do that. So first we need to get these values of negative and positive. And this, if you don't know, is a dictionary and we need to get the values from inside the dictionary. So that is pretty easy. We are just gonna store the value in a variable called neg, N-E-G. And how do you get these values? You just write score and inside square brackets, you just put in the value of neg, that is this N-E-G. And then we just get the positive value. We are just gonna write P-O-S. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here and the brackets from here are missing. So let's fix that. And I'm gonna give it the whole POS, the positive one. So I'm just gonna write that over here. And then we are gonna check with an if else condition whether the vibe is positive or negative. So if neg is greater than positive, then we can just print out negative sentiment. And then else if, the positive is greater than the negative then we can just print out that it has a positive sentiment so positive sentiment and uh, the last is the else condition if both of them are equal then we are just going to print out like the neutral wipe neutral wipe and that's pretty much it so let's actually run this now and see if it works let me just uh, format this properly and if you also want to if you're using pycharm and if you want to any time format it properly you can just press ctrl alt and l on your keyboard and it's gonna make everything look good now that we have over here let's actually print it out and see if it works 
All right, so this, the Steve Jobs text has an overall a positive sentiment, and these are the emotions that are presented inside the graph. Now feel free to like change this read.txt and find out something else, like do like kind of play around with it. So just like feel free to like copy different text from the web and paste it over here and find out what kind of uh, sentiment they all have and see what kind of emotions they have by using this matplotlib. All right guys, so this is pretty much it for this video series of sentiment analysis. It has been fun hanging out with you guys and hopefully you learned something cool. And um, I'll see you in the next video series. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out.